Hey best friends, welcome back to another video. So today I wanted to share with you some bedding essentials needed to layer your bed. Using these bedding products, I promise you the most comfortable and relaxing sleep and so much bed styling satisfaction. So please stay tuned and let's get into this video. If this is your first time joining us today, hey babe, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. And to my returning lovelies, hey girl, hey, thank you so much for all of your continuous support. The first bedding essential on layering your bed I wanted to share with you guys is a mattress pad cover and a mattress topper. A mattress pad cover is just that, it covers your mattress. They protect your mattress against most accidental spills, bacteria, and allergens. Purchasing a mattress pad cover with a little filling can also add some extra comfort to your bed. And although a mattress topper isn't completely necessary, it does help keep you cozy and will regulate your body temperature. It will also add some extra support while sleeping and choosing a really good topper can also buy you some extra time like a year or two before having to purchase a new mattress entirely. Next we're adding in our clean sheet set. I'm using the fitted and flat sheet. Choosing the right set of sheets, it's ultimately up to you. There's so many different ones to choose from. I'll leave some links below in the description box just in case you're interested. So when deciding on the perfect sheet set for us, I typically like to choose a material that is durable, easy to wash and breathable. One that keeps us cool when it's warm out and warm when it's cold. I only like to have like two sets of sheets per bed in our home and I'm really not one to like to change out the sheets due to the seasons. I like to keep them on all year round. My two favorite sheets right now are these bamboo sheet sets and the eucalyptus lyocell sheet set. These bamboo sheet sets right now, they are one of my favorite. They're thermal regulating, so they wick away any moisture to keep us cool and dry. It's great for people with night sweats, and it's perfect if you have sensitive skin. They have a luxurious silky texture that is just amazing on our skin. Most of the time my sheets are just wrinkled from the dryer and my fitted sheet I'll just like pull together really tight underneath the mattress and that usually will help get out the wrinkles but for my flat sheet I'll just run my steamer across it just to remove the wrinkles. So steaming your sheets aren't necessarily needed but doing this really helps to achieve that comfortable luxurious look on your bed that I promise you you will just fall in love with. Next fitting essential to layer your bed is using a quilt or coverlet. So a quilt just adds in an extra layer of warmth and coziness. I try not to go with a super thick quilt when layering since we are hot sleepers. I'm using this Matelassi quilt which can be used on the top sheet of your bed if you like. Its quilted pattern adds a soft cozy feel and texture.
Next, we're adding in our pillows. Whether you're a back sleeper or side sleeper, choosing the best pillow will help you get a really good sleep. Go for your personal preference of fill. You have like memory foam, down fill, cotton, or latex. The weight of the pillow, a memory foam may be a little heavier, while using a down pillow will be a little lighter. Choose on your personal size and quality. If you can invest in the pillow cover, this will protect your pillow just as the mattress pad cover will do the mattress. Right now, I'm just using an extra pillowcase. Most pillowcases do come with a little extra flap or a zipper just to close up the pillow. If not, you can use the envelope fold method to help fold the extra ends. adding in two euro pillows as a decorative covering for my sleeping pillows i also add in two extra pillow shams and just one decorative pillow when styling your bed go with as many or as less pillows as you would prefer play around with the different textures and other fun designs i decided to just go with a neutral simple style but since all of my bedding is pretty neutral adding in other decorative pillows will be pretty easy Next bedding essential in layering your bed is a duvet insert. The insert can be used draped over your bed acting just as a comforter if preferred. I'm using mine as a filling for my duvet cover. Using a comforter or duvet is basically your choice. The main difference between a comforter is just one piece of bedding while the duvet insert requires two separate pieces. I love using a duvet insert because I can pretty much decide on the thickness of my cover. I'm using this ultra weight down duvet insert which is pretty heavy and it works well when I want like a heavier blanket to cover up with and I've inserted it into my linen duvet cover. This linen is also pretty heavy weight and I like to just have it folded at the foot of the bed and I'll just use it if we just need something extra cozier to cover up with that night. Something that's missing doesn't feel my last bit essential is adding in a throw blanket. A throw blanket is designed to go at the end of your bed on top of your duvet or comforter. You can place it in a few different ways based on your personal preference. Lay it as a runner or gently throw it on for a more relaxed look. With this throw, I've decided to just neatly place it folded like so on the side of the bed. This will come in handy just to cozy up in when relaxing in bed. It also helps add in an extra layer and texture. I don't wanna mess up your night. I don't wanna put up a fight. I don't wanna trouble you, baby. That, my lovelies, is how I layer my bed using these essential bedding products. I hope that you've enjoyed watching, but most importantly, I hope that you have found some helpful tips to layer and style your bed as you may see fit in your own home. If you have, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. And if you aren't already, go ahead and click on that subscribe button. My name is Le'Veon and I would love for you to join my YouTube family. I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.